Alright, today's video, I'm going to show you something that I bought over at Harbor Freight and it's part of their Pittsburgh automotive line. It's called the Harbor Freight Manual Tire Changer and it's a portable tire changer that they claim you can use on truck tires and all these different types of tires and I personally just don't know about it. I was in the store Google searching it on my phone to see what it is and what the reviews are. So it's got a four star review on their website, given that their website is usually people who have tested the product already and then wanted to review it. So for $39, I thought maybe I might give it a go. First impressions, the box is torn right here. It looks like it was written on it. It does look like it was retaped closed, and that could be just because it was a return at my location, Harbor Freight, and then the one that you get at your location might be new. So that might just impact the decision a little bit, but I will show you an unboxing of it, and I will try and assemble it to show you if it needs assembly. It doesn't look like there are any parts that need to be assembled so without further ado I'm going to open the box and show you the contents that are inside as well as the impressions that I have on the contents as I'm pulling them out. Because this box was sealed closed already, uh, let me lay on this nasty floor, my nasty, uh, my nasty ground. Because the seal, because the items in this box have been sealed I'm going to wait for the FedEx truck. I'm going to get to opening it and I'm going to show you exactly what's inside. So let me open up the box here, peel back the first layer, we got some tape, let me tell you, it is red. I did notice you can get an attachment for this thing, which, uh, but who would want to do that? So we're going to open that up. Then once you get in the box, a bunch of bolts and the instruction manual. Ugh. A piece of, uh, this looks like it was water damaged or it's just pretty poorly packaged. But the red is coming off of the paint already. So this I think is the piece for your tire to break the bead. the metal rod that you jam into the tire, which I will be uh, trying to improve it in my own way. So one side is so you can get it in the rim, the other side is to get it out, and Harbor Freight does sell some other tools to do that, which I do recommend buying and adding like a cheater bar to it. So then at least you're not wrecking this, because you only get one of these, but for $40 you're not really going to mind doing that. And then you get the actual unit itself, right here. And, oh, those are the feet. And you get a piece of cardboard. So this is the piece that you can use to break the feet. And you pop that out. And I'm going to set this box aside. First thing I noticed about the bottom. It was made in Vietnam. It says, made in Vietnam. So the first thing I've noticed right out of the box is that the bottom of the tire changer does not sit flush with the floor. See? So that's the first thing I've noticed outside the box. Otherwise this thing is actually really short. I thought it was going to be much taller like it looked inside the store. I'm going to continue assembling it. I'm going to assemble the feet along with it. Okay. Very, all of this is very flimsy. Oh man. No way, in no way it means is this for professionals. That was a fail, I just threw all of the, all the washers. In this container you get four 
bolts. And then you get four lock washers, which are usually completely useless to me because I hate using lock washers. And you get four nuts. Start to assemble it here. Using a 17 millimeter wrench and a 17 millimeter socket, I'm going to snug those up right now, of course, before I do anything else. These other two kind of sit off to the side, like so. Stick the bolt in and snug it down. Then do it to the other side. Well, let me turn this here so you can see what I'm doing. Lining up the hole, sticking the steel, non-stainless steel nut through it so it will rust if you live in Michigan like I do and you have salt all over your garage, and you apply some water. Spin the nut on. Now that those are all snug down, I'm going to lay it up. Oh my goodness, this thing is not flat at all. This piece here is for breaking the bead. You're gonna stick this right here on the front. And it is adjustable for size. Stick the little locking pin through. And it's assembled. You expect me to lift that? That's it, that's as far as it goes. There's no clearance. So using this board, I'm going to see if I can mount this tire balancer on this board to see if I can get this thing to maybe work the bead easier and get the, get the wheel off easier. So without having to drill into the concrete or buy a pallet, because I don't want to buy a pallet. try it with these Volvo rims. These are 16s, I believe. What do they say? Do a dry rod, but they're 16 inch. First thing I'm going to do is take out the valve core or the valve stem. Good enough. 
Let that air out. I picked up a long metal pole, so I'm not using the, uh, the stick, the red stick. So this gives me more leverage because I'm a small person. We're going to try and break this bead. There we go. Okay, I kind of got around the rim. And this should all come free. Beat is broken all the way around. Now I'm going to set the tire on the top of the pedestal here, making sure that that's lined up. Oh god, that's heavy. There we go. Sweet. So protect the rim. I cut out a piece of cardboard because I noticed that aluminum rim, solid aluminum, this coming down will scratch my rim. So I don't want to scratch it really. So I'm going to lay that on top. Screw this on like so. A pry bar. Tighten it down. You can really fork on it a little bit. There we go. Back on the rim. I'm going to take this and set it right here on the rim. So when I pry up, at least I won't be prying against the aluminum. So let's give this a go. When it snaps, the metal bar sits on the PVC. Booyah! Booyah! That's how you do it. that PVC is following along. figure out how to keep this thing from scratching. See how bad we scratched up this rim. Oh yeah, we nicked it. 
I nicked it. All right, now that the tire's off, we're gonna try remounting it. On the same rim. I don't know how to do this, so I've never really done the whole slap the tire on. So, try and walk it on there from one direction. Apparently I can't, I'm having a, a metal bar. Big metal bar. This is where one of those Harbor Freight tire irons would come into play. That would be super nice right now. And just slide it over. Okay. Pop that off. Okay, I'm going again. Probably my last attempt. My last couple attempts. Because I'm getting tired of doing this. Oh man, we're almost there. Let's see if we can just lift it up and over a few more passes. Oh my gosh! Finally! Oh, Fruit Loops. Now that it's on, I'm gonna seat the bead. I'm gonna try and seat the bead here by airing it up. Put it back in. Ah. Woo. There we go. Let's pop this sucker off. mounted and dismounted a tire with the Harbor Freight tire changer, manual tire changer. So, yeah, I tell you, that's a lot harder than it seems to me because I am a small person. I won't 
lie. So it's difficult. Let's evaluate the tire. You can clearly see that there's scratches along the tire, some red scratches. So this tire was not scratched up when I first started here, but we can see that there are scratches. So apparently this thing does mar tires and pretty much scuffs them up. So just a heads up if you're buying one.